हेलो गाइस वेलकम यू ऑल टू आईएएस वेलकम बैक टू टॉप 50 रैपिड करंट अफेयर्स करंट अफेयर्स प्रिपरेशन रिक्वायर्स अ डायनेमिक अप्रोच फॉर द सब्जेक्ट आई डू अंडरस्टैंड आप लोग बहुत सारे सोर्सेज से पढ़े होंगे करंट अफेयर्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर यू हैव रेड द करंट अफेयर्स बट द राइट टाइम इज टू कॉन्सॉलिडेट योर करंट अफेयर्स विद द मोस्ट हाई हिल्डिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ ईच मंथ फॉर दैट वी हैव टॉप फिफ्टी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स ऑर्गेनाइज इन अ मैनर so that you know in the 5 days from 1 to 5 11 to 15 and 21 to 25 we are doing one month current affairs so that in the revision plan in one month you are going to cover three months of current affair how these five days have been divided okay on one day we are doing like 21st feb economic development very much important topic for your examination of prelims 22nd feb polity governance and international relations so polity governance mein se bahut sare questions aayenge jo current affairs se directly linked honge statics portion se as well as international relations different places in the news different treaties international treaties are coming from here okay g20 meeting happened 23rd feb environment and ecology 24th feb science and technology different sections of science and technology whether it is information and computer science okay whether it be biotechnology whether it be related to space domains of development emerging technologies into space renewable energy technologies these questions are directly coming from the science and tech domain 25th feb we would be doing reports indices defense art and culture ओके मिसलिनियस टॉपिक्स लाइक गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स इस तरीके से करके हम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स को अच्छे से रिवाइज कर लेंगे बट फॉर बेटर एंड कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रिवीजन यू शुड बी ज्वाइनिंग करंट अफेयर्स क्रैश कोर्स दैट इज टेकन बाय मी एंड इनटू दैट करंट अफेयर्स क्रैश कोर्स ऑब्जेक्टिव इज कैसे प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को अलाइन करके आप अपनी पढ़ाई को इफेक्टिव बना पाओ लिमिटेड टाइम बचा हुआ एग्जाम में इन दैट लिमिटेड स्पैन ऑफ टाइम How well you can utilize for the most effective revision throughout the two years? जो दो साल में एटी ट्वेंटी रूल्स के हिसाब से सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है जहां से यूपीएससी बार बार क्वेश्चन पूछ रही है एंड हाउ द क्वेश्चन आर बींग फ्रेम्ड दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाई द पी वाई क्यू सो इन द क्लास लाइव सॉल्विंग ऑफ पी वाई क्यूज एज वेल एज इन डिटेल अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद अ प्रॉपर क्लासिफिकेशन करेंट अफेयर रैंडम नहीं पढ़ेंगे हम वी वोट गो मंथ वाइज हाउ वी वुड बी गोइंग वी वुड बी क्लासिफाइंग द करेंट अफेयर अंडर डिफरेंट डोमेन्स जस्ट लाइक राइट नाउ वी हैव क्लासिफाइड फॉर द रिविजन प्रोग्राम हेयर इट सेल्फ ओके तो लेट स्टार्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनवायरमेंट सेक्शन एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी वेयर स्पीसीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट यू विल फाइंड दैट सम क्वेश्चन आर डायरेक्टली कमिंग फ्रॉम द स्पीसीज ओके सो स्पीसीज में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज होती है वॉट इज द आई यू सी एन status of that species how why it is ecologically so important for us this is pygmy hog upsc has asked the question on pygmy hog twice in the last 10 years and if you go back like 50 years paper many a times on the pygmy hog question has been asked it is because it is critically endangered this is a type of a sub species of pigs okay it is very rare very difficult for the site seeing and only viable population of pygmy hog is available in manas national park viable population only in manas national park this is basically a mammal okay and this is one of the rare mammals here that builds its own home or nest complete with a roof ये अपने प्रॉपर रूफ के साथ घर बनाते हैं सो वन लाइनर क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफिसिटी अबाउट दिस मैमल वुड कम दैट इट बिल्ड्स इट्स ओन होम और नेस्ट कंप्लीट विद द रूफ दे बिल्ड देयर ओन रूफ स्मॉलेस्ट एंड रेयरेस्ट स्पीसीज ऑफ वाइल्ड पिग ओके क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड एंड वाइबल पॉपुलेशन इज फाउंड इन मानस नेशनल पार्क सो स्पेशलिटी ऑफ मानस नेशनल पार्क यू नो मानस रिवर इज ऑल्सो ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर मानस नेशनल पार्क कहां पर है ओके okay, असम और अरुणाचल प्रदेश सिंपल सिंपल क्वेश्चंस आर टेल मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स वेयर इज मानस नेशनल पार्क इन विच स्टेट इट इज लोकेटेड ओके एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट मानस नेशनल पार्क वी शुड आल्सो बी लुकिंग एट द अदर नेशनल पार्क्स ओरांग ओरांग नेशनल पार्क ओवर देयर ओके पवित्रा वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी ओवर देयर वॉट इज ऑल्सो सो इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट द मानस डू टेल मी नाउ देयर पॉपुलेशन इज यू नो इन रीजन बींग एग्रीकल्चर फॉर दैट देयर हैबिटेट लॉस इज देयर grazing pastures okay and occasional flooding of the river because of the brahmaputra occasional flooding also happens pygmy hog amur 
Amur falcon. It is a small falcon, small raptor of the falcon family. Small raptor. You can see it's not that big a bird. Small raptor of fal falcon uh, family. पहली बात इसका नाम Amur falcon क्यों है? Amur comes from the Amur River that separates. It's a transboundary river between China and Russia. It separates the boundary. This is Russia. This is China. You can see this is Amur River over here. Getting this point? So. अब इस नाम से ही क्लियर होता है कि इट इज नेटिव टू दिस प्लेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आमोर फैलकॉन बट वॉट हैपन स्टूडेंट्स सी यू कैन सी हियर फ्रॉम द चाइना एंड दैट बॉर्डर इट फ्लाईज लाइक दिस ओके सो इट बेसिकली कम्स टू इंडिया एट नागालैंड ओके टू यांग लेक इन नागालैंड एंड इट स्टेज फॉर अराउंड वन मंथ देखो एग्जाम में माइग्रेटरी यू नो माइग्रेटरी बर्ड स्पीसीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी एम एस कन्वेंशन ऑन माइग्रेटरी स्पीसीज यू वुड हैव स्टडीड इन योर स्टैटिक पोर्शन कन्वेंशन ऑन माइग्रेटरी स्पीसीज सो ओके आमोर फेलकॉन हेयर वन मंथ इट स्टेज इन डोयांग लेक इन नागालैंड नागालैंड इज कॉल्ड एज यू नो द फैलकन कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फैलकन कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन नागालैंड ओके तो यहां पर क्या होता है ये स्टे करते हैं नेस्ट करते हैं रिजुविनेट करते हैं दे टेक द फूड एंड फ्यूल फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्लाइट द नेक्स्ट फ्लाइट सी इन टू द विंटर्स व्हाट हैपेंस इट इज देयर ब्रीडिंग सीजन आफ्टर द विंटर्स दे फ्लाई एंड स्टे हियर फॉर वन मंथ एंड देन दे स्टार्ट देयर जर्नी टूवर्ड्स अफ्रीका ओके ईस्टर्न अफ्रीका दे स्टार्ट देयर जर्नी ओके ब्रीड्स इन साउथ ईस्टर्न साइबेरिया and north china northern china breeds in south eastern siberia and northern china and from there they start their journey it is the world's longest traveling raptors one of the world's longest traveling raptors if the question comes you can mark it okay so what happens here if you will look at the map this is nagaland this is manipur koima here what happens also the conduct of the census of amur falcons amur falcons migratory bird species ka bhi ab hum census karne ja rahe hain going forward in upcoming times we will be doing the census of it now understand one more point why we are focusing so much on the migratory species or the falcon family they are the top predators in their trophic levels they are the top predators therefore their population is very much important because when it stops in nagaland why we are looking at it because it maintains the whole ecosystem of that area by feeding on the insects their ecosystem is dependent on the migration okay their stay particular stay into the nagaland for that one month that ecosystem dependency is there therefore they are also called as indicator species staghorn staghorn students is a type of coral okay most endangered coral okay it is endangered coral dekho ye coral you can see here this is the coral where in the caribbean sea it is found what is the importance of this coral we all know that because of global warming what is happening coral bleaching is happening ocean acidification is happening but this coral is resilient to the disease called as white band disease ye white band disease bahut zyada prominent hai into some corals so bahut sari corals die out ho rahi hain because of white band disease okay so it is responsible for killing up to 95% of caribbean acropora species and corals but what we have found that this particular coral is resilient to the white band disease staghorn coral so what we are you know scientists are planning that into the caribbean sea what we can do is we can rejuvenate more and more corals by planting around staghorn coral agar staghorn coral aur laga denge to hum protect kar sakte hain coral species ko overall and that is also possible in other areas तो इसलिए इसको याद रखना है अपने को स्टैगहॉर्न कोरल इट इज वन ऑफ द इंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज बट मोस्ट रेजिलियंट स्पीसीज ऑफ कोरल्स पर्टिकुलरली इट इज फाउंड नियर करेबियन सी एंड इट इज ससेप्टेबल टू वाइट बैंड डिजीज आल्सो क्रैप लोवर ओके क्रैप लोवर यू कैन सी हियर इसको पॉइंट कैलिमर ओके पॉइंट कैलिमर वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी पॉइंट कैलिमर वाइल्ड लाइफ हियर तमिलनाडु यू कैन फाइंड इट इट इज हियर ओके there we have crab lover 
it is you know not so much of concern for us but we we are knowing about it it lays it is the only you know sure bird that lays white egg generally you know brownish color eggs are there birds eggs are brownish color i'm not talking about chicken's egg first time breeding nest of the crab plovers is spotted at great vedaranyam swamp near point kalimar tamil nadu so first time we have seen this kind of things happening and residents of the coast islands of the indian ocean they are shore birds basically crab plovers with the name only you can understand crab crabs are found near the ocean so these these are shore birds crab plovers inhabit sandy coastlines mud flats estuaries lagoons exposed coral reefs and rocky shorelines okay on that basically european goose management platform also has been launched so that uh, hunting of these kind of crab plovers can be stopped i you see not so concerned it is least concern over here micro algae micro algae macro algae spirulina we are talking about here seafood okay or first generation second generation third generation fourth generation of biofuel seafood and biofuel there had been a question in upsc that from algae biofuel can be manufactured but this requires i research and development and capital cost for the investment but yes viably biofuel can be manufactured from the algae this is we are what we are talking about micro algae ye jo micro algae hota hai ye bahut hi niche hota hai ocean mein at, at at the abyss level it is there so basically what happens most of the time yahan pe sunlight nahi hoti hai jaise ki you know when we are into the dark room what our eyes do our eyes you know pupil gets enlarged so that we can see there you know in the in the in the total dark also we can look at some objects and a kind of pigment is released in our eyes that is rhodopsin here what happens this particular micro algae releases rhodopsin proteins students this rhodopsin protein helps in you know manufacturing of the uh, you know chlorophylls certain food by the chlorophylls for the micro algae so in the sunlight and despite when the sunlight is very less that rhodopsin helps in manufacturing of the food so crucial in the oceans food chain and carbon capture it is crucial in oceans food chain and carbon capture unique strategy to adapt to global warming and declining nutrient levels in the sea activate a protein called rhodopsin light responsive protein enables micro algae to thrive by using sunlight as an alternate to traditional chlorophyll for the growth okay so ye ekdam डायरेक्टली वहां से अपना फूड बना लेते हैं जो ट्रेडिशनल मैन्युफैक्चर मेथड थ्रू द क्लोरोफिल दैट डज नॉट हैपन इन दिस माइक्रो एलगे ओके बेसिकली हाई एडेड वैल्यू प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक पिगमेंट्स पीयूएफएस पेप्टिसाइड्स एक्सो पॉलीसैक्राइड्स एक्सेट्रा कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम इट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बायो प्रोडक्ट्स कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम इट नाउ यू नो बायो टेक्नोलॉजी इज रिवोल्यूशनाइजिंग एंड हेयर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सी फूड एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स फॉर एनर्जी फूड एंड फ्यूएल बोथ इट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द एलगे एंड माइक्रो एलगे कैंडोलेव माइसिस ओके सो कैंडोलेव माइसिस इज अ न्यू वराइटी ऑफ मशरूम जनरली इट इज वाइट ऑन द टॉप हेयर इट हैज वुडी टेक्सचर ओके इट हैज वुडी टेक्सचर अ न्यू मशरूम हैज बिन फाउंड in where it would be found western ghats discovered in western ghats new mushroom species gucci mushrooms they have asked they may ask a variety of mushrooms and where they had been found it has been found in western ghats so genus candelio mysis researchers identify new mushroom species from the western ghats a research paper has been published and it has been accepted as a new mushroom altogether prosopis prosopis juliflora okay this is also called as vilayati keeker it is known by different names basically students so this is basically an invasive species
देखो इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज से क्वेश्चन बहुत सारे आए एग्जाम में बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन विलायती कीकर प्रोसोपिस जूली फ्लोरा हैज ऑलरेडी बीन आस्ड बाय द यूपीएससी दैट इट इज अ मेडिसिनल प्लांट इट इज एन इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज लंटाना कमारा इज आल्सो इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज वाटर हाइसेंथ इज इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज गंबूशिया फिश इज एन इन्वेजिव स्पीसीज so we should be knowing about the invasive species what happens what is the particularity of invasive species that they can thrive in different possible situations that they would require less water also they would survive in more waterfall also they can survive underground also they can survive on top of the hills also therefore they compete for the nutrition with the actual vegetation of that area that is the problem they compete for the nutrition and they are more adaptable to the different circumstances therefore our actual vegetation cannot fight with it so what is happened this is from where basically prosopis juliflora is a mexican invasive species ye question aajkal bahut trending hai upsc pooch rahi hai what is this is the native plant of africa this is the native plant of southeast asia the questions they are asking like this so this is native of mexican shrub or small tree in the family fabaceae native to mexico south america and the caribbean south america and caribbean basically 1930s during the british time it was brought to new delhi and from there it has expanded to other areas also invasive species in arid and semi arid areas but it can thrive very well in other parts also wide ecological adaptability it shows very wide ecological adaptability and uh, therefore it is called as invasive species it competes for the nutrient and you know space for the sunlight also south lonak lake students see south lonak lake where it is located it is located here in sikkim north western sikkim okay this map of sikkim you can see here this is south lonak lake it is in the news because this lake was over flooded and and this over flooded lake you know the water went into tista river okay tista river and on the tista river we had chungtang dam chungtang dam chungtang dam samajh rahe ho baat ko ek river pe humne hydroelectric dam banaya tha chungtang dam and because water was over flooded into this river and it over flooded first time it happened it over flooded tista river so it destroyed some part of the chungtang dam chungtang dam is a part of 1200 megawatt tista stage 3 hydroelectric project in which sikkim government is the major stakeholder theek hai to usko thoda sa problem hui hai now the question that can be asked is about lonak lake lonak lake how it has been formed what is the altitude 5200 meters altitude very high okay 5200 meters high altitude this lake is there and this is formed because of the melting of the himalayan glaciers himalayan glacier in this diagram you can see okay these are the frontal moraines okay they stopped water from over flooding like this and here the himalayan glaciers has been melting this is ice thickness this ice thickness has been reducing newly exposed bedrock okay glacier bed and this is the current lake future growth of the lake it is going to expand like this can you see here initially it was here but right now the lake has been expanding therefore the water is over flooding tista river this is an major ecological change onto the flow of tista river tista river rangit river the questions has been asked by upsc so ye news mein hai questions will come from the environment or from the geography section from here so lonak lake location match the column if question comes to you or what are the ecological changes happening into this lake what will be the impact of it on the state on the ecosystem basically you are watching here how the glacier is melting one, one of the most important reasons could be global warming these kind of examples you should be presenting in your mains answer copy as well very recent changes happened right now ecological changes particularly in india what it is creating the difference climate change next topic is kamar lake theek hai kamar lake or kabartal jheel ramsar site the only ramsar site of bihar and it is asia's largest freshwater oxbow lake asia's largest 
फ्रेश वाटर ऑक्सबो लेक ऑक्सबो लेक यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट इज फॉर्म इन द जोग्राफी वुड हैव रेड मियांड्रिंग ऑफ रिवर बिकॉज ऑफ द मियांड्रिंग ऑफ रिवर दिस you know this river is meandering like this sedimentary deposits are there sedimentary deposits are there and here you will find at the third stage oxbow lake is formed it is different from the river right now so this kavar lake or kabartal jheel has been formed from which river gandak river and gandak river is a tributary of ganga river getting this point and here also fifth more than 58 migratory bird species come okay cms we understand migratory bird species come it's an important area for migratory bird species and it is the only bihar's only ramsar sites so do do understand and remember it match the column for that so thank you guys and i hope you are revising very well let's meet tomorrow